<laughs> we keep moving the camera back and forth trying to find the right angle for the light. I think right there is the best spot there is. Seems to work for room also. And God calling. I must provide. I am your Lord enough. Then I can command your obedient service, your loyalty. But I am bound by my lordship to give you protection. I am bound to fight for you, to plan for you, to secure for you a sufficiency of all within my power to provide. Think how vast that provision can be. Never doubt. Such marvels are unfolding, wonders beyond your dreams. They only need the watering of a grateful spirit and a loving heart to yield abundantly. I think that's where most people get the wrong idea about God, is that it's as though he's a sugar daddy to some people and they forget that he's a person. They go up out their way and they say what they want or when there's a crisis they call upon him, but God has feelings. God is tender. God has emotions. God, the Father, is very much so wanting to spend time with you because, you see, Jesus didn't come only for him to be glorified, which is good. I'm glad that many people know the Lord Jesus and follow him and serve him and love him with their heart and soul and mind and strength, but he also said that the Father desires to be loved. The Father himself is one we would seek. That the Father is one we would develop a relationship with. So sometimes, take some time. Take a moment or two or three or four. And sit down and take some quiet reflection and think about the difference between Jesus and the Father. And then try to conceive of the idea of talking to God your Father, like Daddy, like someone you care about. Don't just call your Father Jesus, because they are different. There's a difference between the Father and the Son, as surely as there's a difference between the Spirit and the Son and the Father. But God, our Father, is tender. And as easily as the Holy Spirit can be grieved, likewise the tenderness of God can be challenged by His love that He has for you. But His desire is for you to know Him so His grace extends to you by what His Son has done. So, in some ways, maybe think about it today. Maybe take a moment and don't think of Him as being awesome and holy or righteous and pure and all those things that He is, but think of Him as your dad. Think of Him as somebody you didn't really know that well. But now you're getting to know a whole lot better because his son is telling you all about it. And if the son should call him Abba, then how much more so should you develop a relationship that would be based upon a loving relationship of intimacy that you should have had with your father on earth, that you can have with your father in heaven? Now is the time to make the choice. Develop it with your father, your dad. The one in heaven who sees you. The one you know loves you.